to order. Um, let's see. We uh, have uh, Mr. Codignone, Edlicious, Alderman Juddy, um, and uh, Sally Highland. Uh, who, uh, as I say, there's one user that doesn't have a name identified. Could you identify yourself uh, for the for the record for attendance? I think that's uh, Sally Highland. She's oh, on there as what? user as well as Sally. Oh, okay. no, I'm, oh, well, no, I'm on the phone. Sally, I think, is on twice. We had a problem uh, earlier, and so she's she, she's kind of logged in twice. Yeah. All right. So well, I'll only come on vote, but don't worry. Okay. <laughs> uh, it appears we don't have a, a quorum, but we can proceed with the the reports anyway. Uh, Mr. Painter, would you like to dive right in? I shall do that right now. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Our current balance of the operating account 2505 is $697,911. Um, expenses for May, including salaries and facility operations, total $26,000. Uh, we had uh, 1,652 cable casts total. Oh, wait a minute. I take that back. Sorry, because Pete had put all three months. So I'll just go to the to the May. Uh, we had 1,112 cable casts total in May. And of this, we had 33 live events. And that broke down to 11 educational and, 20, uh, and 22 government. Uh, we had 999 playbacks, and that broke down to 453 on the public access. Uh, we had 309 on the education, and we had six, uh, 237 on, on uh, channel 16. Now I'm going to skip ahead uh, over the education, and, and we'll come back to Pete giving the education report and go right to the COVID-19 part of, of the report. But they kind of got screwed up when we when we redid this, because normally this would come first before Pete's report. So I'll start this. Uh, this has surely been a trying three months for all of us, and CTV has been no exception. As we are part of the Joint Information Center under the city's emergency operations team, we were immediately called upon to produce videos regarding the city's response to COVID-19 in conjunction with all the other informational content that was being generated by the rest of the team to help inform and educate the public. Our IT department jumped in and came up with one solution after another to bridge whatever gap was needed between what was now remote and what continued to be in person by necessity. On a daily basis, our videographers would go out and gather footage of all the events happening in response to the emergency. They would then return to the studio where they would place the SD card and either uh, the SD card has the video on it in either Pete's or my computer. Through IT's technology, we could then reach into our editing software and put the projects together from elsewhere. Push them to the server, and have them on air streaming and linked to all the social media accounts necessary in a timely fashion. We continue to do this today. As we approach the reinitiation of the city meetings via remote, there were many challenges. The first and most immediate was how to convert the WebEx and Zoom meetings into properly sized media for broadcast over Comcast. Pete uninstalled our switching system at Nashua North and reinstalled it in our studio for the Board of Aldermen, committees, Zoning Board Planning and, uh, and Board of Education. In another room, he, oh, I'm sorry. In, in another room, he set up our portable TriCaster, traditionally used for sporting events, now for the Board of Education meeting. He was able to rework each switcher so they were capable of, of accepting either a Zoom or a WebEx signal. We now could cover meetings with proper graphics as well. He, he'd also set up the proper link from the police department so the mayor can give go live with his press briefings every Wednesday. The next challenge came with the question of who was going to set up these remote meetings, as well as fulfill all of the legal requirements for remote, for remote public meetings. On the education side, the Board of Education decided to host their own meetings via Zoom. Pete works hand in hand with them to assure each meeting is covered properly and is presented in the best possible way over Comcast. Since the Board of Aldermen has a bit more stringent requirements, Bruce decided that the IT department, uh, CTV being part of it, would host the meetings via WebEx. Since the BOA has the added requirement of public access via phone for listening only, Bruce created a telephone bridge to fulfill this requirement. So each night we start the meeting 30 minutes prior, 
set up the switcher for the proper size, create the bridge, and a second call in to monitor it, and at the set time, we go live. The last challenge we had was to make sure multiple meetings could be recorded as either backup and or for replay at a later date. We have been able to set this up with software called Bandicam and can record three meetings simultaneously. So we can do Board of Alderman, Board of Ed, and then uh, we, can, we can record Zoning Board for replay the next day. Um, that's the, that part of the report. We do have a financial request. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I kind of screwed up here. Um, something that became alarmingly evident at the outside of our remote working situation was the importance of our switching systems in transferring the Zoom or WebEx meetings into a format that could then be sent to Comcast for broadcast. Within days of the initiation of virtual meetings, our portable TriCaster switcher that I spoke of earlier went down. Although Access AV turned it around swiftly, we could cover only one meeting at a time uh, while it was gone. The system is currently being used as our second meeting link to Comcast and is being dismantled each week uh, to be brought to the Emergency Operations Center for broadcast of the mayor's press brief. During the pandemic, we have really realized our need for an available backup unit. Should any of our switchers at North in the automatic chambers or in the City Hall Auditorium go down, so we request permission to purchase a new portable TriCaster to replace the current one, which will then become our backup system. The new TriCaster computer is of newer and faster technology and no longer uses hard disks for operation. The cost of the new TriCaster system, including the switcher, keyboard, control surface, and case will be in the amount not to exceed $12,500. And now I'll switch it over to Pete for uh, the education chair. Uh, you're on mute. Right. Um, yeah, I uh, have my report starting from March um, through the uh, current time since we haven't met since then. Um, back in March, we recorded uh, the Conway Arena solar project presentation. Uh, on the 5th, we did um, the district wide student art show at Nashua North. On the 7th, we recorded Bishop Girton girls basketball at, um, looks like it is at BG. Um, on the 11th, recorded uh, another Bishop Girton boys game with Salem. Um, on the 11th, we recorded Concord at Nashua North boys basketball. 13th, we provided live coverage of an emergency board of education meeting at the Ledge Street uh, administration building. Also on the 13th, we recorded a Nashua public health seminar on the coronavirus at the Nashua library. And then it jumps from uh, the 16th, should be of March through uh, May 31st. And uh, at that point, we recorded various public service announcements and information videos for the city divisions and distributed those via social media, including a weekly live press conference on uh, the city's um, response to the coronavirus. Uh, we continued remote recordings of meetings and special um, eye on education programs uh, during that time. We also recorded a number of uh, school parades and uh, um, the lunch distributions at various schools. So uh, we went from doing a lot of stuff on TV to doing a lot of stuff via social media. Um, so it was a little bit of a, a challenge uh, at first. I don't think I had a day off in six weeks uh, from the beginning of this thing, but it's, it's tailed back a little bit so that um, you know, I can try and get it down to, to five or uh, five and a half days a week uh, on the job. So been a little busy, but that's my uh, report at this point. All right, any questions? All right, um, as I noted, we don't have a quorum, so voting wouldn't uh, be particularly relevant. So, um, Mr. Gagnon, can you uh, bring us up to speed on how things are going with Access Nashua? Mr. Gagnon, are you still there? 
I believe he dropped off. He was having technical issues. He couldn't hear anything. Uh, yeah, because he was there. I saw him. Yeah, I, I, I saw him earlier. Right. So, Mr. Chairman? Yes? Uh, Alderman Jetty here. While, while we're waiting, um, is there any way we could call some of the members to get a quorum so we can vote on this, uh, the new TriCaster that is needed? I think that's a good idea. Um, Jeff, do you, do you have people's uh, telephone numbers? Of but unfortunately, I don't. I don't have anybody's numbers. Uh, um, let me think. Hey, guys, I'm in the office. I can't call because I'm using my phone, but I'll send an email out to uh, the folks that aren't here. Oh, thank you. That'd be great. This is, this is it. Uh, let's see, it's uh, Chief Rhodes isn't here. Uh, the librarian, I got a brain cramp here. Uh, Jennifer McCormick? Uh, yeah. Yeah, who else? Uh, let me pull up the roster here. Brian Garrahy. Uh, Bruce, is there a phone number to call in for this for uh, WebEx so that Dick Gagnon can talk? He, he was having trouble hearing the meeting. Um, I could send him a phone number if you have it. It's in the meeting invite. Uh, we didn't get an invite, just a link from Jeff. I think Jeff sent the, the, the what hey, I sent Pete, Jeff I've was the, the meeting Pete, Yeah. I've got the number. Okay. And I, I just One, sent in. Oh, go ahead. 1-408-418-9388. Hang on one second. And then okay. 408. And then now. I'm typing right now, so sorry. Right. What was after 408? Four one eight four one eight nine three eight 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 eight. Okay. And they're gonna ask for an access code. And the access and the access code is one two nine. One two nine. Yep. Eight nine nine. Okay. Four eight nine six. By the way, just so everyone knows, I, I uh, uh, just briefly went into recess.
We are live. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, sorry for the brief recess there. Uh, Mr. Gagnon, can you please pr uh, provide us with your report? Okay. So, as this showed you, going to WebEx or to Zoom or to Skype, you always run into hassles. And most of the time, <clears throat> as in this case, it was user error. Um, I had a TV, I have a TV set up next to my laptop to use for viewing and whatnot because my eyesight is still bad. So, however, the audio was going to the TV, which I had turned off. So, anyways, now we're all set. So, since the uh, studio had been shut down with all public buildings, we've gone to doing shows through um, Skype and Zoom, and also intermixing a guest on Zoom, uh, the host on Skype, or vice versa. And um, for the most part, um, even though it took longer sometimes to get people set up, um, we've only had to cancel I think three shows uh, because the connection was no good at all. But I can tell you that the producers, along with Dan and I, are looking forward to when people can come back into the studio and we have better control on audio and better control on video. People aren't going to be talking over each other and cutting out things like that. As many of you know, when you're doing like a Zoom meeting um, and you have two, well, two or three people <clears throat> or more, if there's a glitch with one of them, then the, it shuffles around the position of the people, which tends to cause uh, major issues for us. Um, so we've been keeping it down to no more than a host and two guests and deal with it from there. Uh, we've probably been, I'm going to say at about a 60% um, show recordings. Um, so it hasn't been too, too bad. And that's about it for the report. We just can't wait till we can open up the studio and get back to normal. All right. Well, thank you. Um, are, are there any questions? I, Ed, your uh, audio is very faint. Did you uh, did you say something? No, I'm I'm just uh, waiting my turn. Oh, okay. I <laughs> must have picked up some background noise. All right. Any any other uh, well, any questions at all? If not, has anyone uh, joined the meeting since the since we started? I sent out four emails, so hopefully someone will call in. Okay, I, I see a few, uh, again, without pictures or, or names on them that say uh, Board of Alderman Meetings uh, and a Community Development um, account. Are those members or are they? The Board of Alderman Meetings are the ones that we use for uh, broadcasting the feed. Okay. To, uh, and as well oh, as for, Jeff okay. and I are on private account because we administrate it. I'm All not right. sure who community development is. Yeah, I forgot that my recording uh, computer up there that I'm doing the backup is BOE meetings also. Okay. I, I was just hoping that those for other folks using the account that would have a vote. But as I say, I think we need one more person.
If not, we can um, have an emergency meeting at some other point to approve it if, if necessary. We probably need to do that. Yeah, I think rather than have folks wait around for. At least it's uh, easier, you know, to do an emergency meeting this way. Yeah, it's certainly true. We don't have to worry <laughs> about scheduling a room. Yeah. Right. Or people coming. Um, all right, then. Well, if there's, um, I don't think we have any members of the public that have signed in. So let's, uh, do members have I mean, any? Uh, Sally, wants, or... Sally wants to say something, but I think she's on mute. Yes, it looks like her, her microphone is muted. Sally. Let me see if I can override it. Okay. There you go. Can you hear me now? We can yeah. hear you now. Okay. I just want to uh, commend everyone for the work that you're doing. I mean, I've been following from home and watching the mayor's presentations <laughs> weekly and um, a great job being done. Thank you very much for that. I quite agree. Uh, we appreciate the work that you guys have done to make this work. Thank you. So if I could uh, say something, uh, Mr. Chairman. Please. Um, you know, I, I too agree that the, uh, the IT department and the, the, uh, the TV department have been doing a great job. Uh, I did notice one thing, uh, uh, when I checked for the uh, agenda of today's meeting, on the uh, the city website, you know, there's a there's a link to agendas and meetings. And I when I uh, went there, I saw that the cable TV agendas and minutes. Uh, the last one is 2019, so I I don't know if that can be corrected to uh, you know, post the uh, 2020. Um, I, I bring that up to date. Alderman, I have all the, the agenda, so what I'll do is I'll go with um, Rich and, and uh, if he can help me, I'll put them all on, because I have them all in folders. They're, they're, they're not on the website, I guess, so I'll just go with him and get them on there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mr. Right. Chairman? Yes? Mr. Ed? Ed. Yep. Uh, it's a bittersweet moment for me because this will be my last CTAP meeting. Uh, I am retiring at the end of July, and uh, it, this has been a very interesting uh, group to be a part of. We have grown immensely thanks to the support of the various mayors uh, during this period and the boards of aldermen. Uh, we put together the uh, rules, regulations, bylaws uh, for both uh, the government access and the uh, uh, ETV, uh, we've, uh, we've accomplished a lot, upgraded equipment, and uh, it's, uh, uh, it's been, as I say, a great run, but it's time to uh, sue other things. And I'd just like to thank everybody uh, past and present, and also uh, add to what Sally and others have said, uh, the, uh, the team over there has done an exceptional job during this. I know we have uh, uh, we have tried to uh, uh, do things during this to keep keep the ball moving forward, uh, and uh, have uh, have not uh, always succeeded initially the way we wanted to, but have. Uh, ultimately achieved the goal, and uh, I especially want to thank Pete uh, as the host of Ion Education. We've been able to do about four or five shows uh, via Zoom uh, during this, and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's been fun, and I'd just like to say thank you to everybody, and everybody be safe. Well, thank you, Ed, for, for your service on the, on the board, and sure. it's been a pleasure working with you, and congratulations on your retirement. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ed, for everything. Yeah, I too would like to thank you, Ed. Uh, but since we don't have a quorum, we cannot vote to accept your resignation. So I guess you'll have to stay on. <laughs> we'll have to wait for the maybe, special maybe, meeting. Yeah. Maybe we can do that uh, 
for the special meeting. <laughs> I just got a How do I, get I just in? got a text from I just got a text from Chief Rose. He said he he's tried to call in. Hmm. I just saw his name pop up on the screen. Oh. Well maybe uh, he's on with us. Hey, sorry. Oh, oh yes. Can you see me? We can yes. now. He's on. Uh, putting out small fires, I apologize. <laughs> That's your job. Well, I think um, so that probably on. means that we have a quorum. So let's uh, let's proceed while we can. Um, first, is there a motion to accept the reports uh, as presented? So moved. All right. So th there's a motion to accept in place on file. Um, any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed. By roll call. Since we're on Zoom. That's right. It's got to be roll oh, call. Oh, we have to do meetings. roll call? Ah. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, Andrew Sonoda is in favor. Um, Dorothy Clark? Bruce Codignone? Yes. Uh, we do not currently have a representative from the school board. I mean, uh, school department. Um, Brian Garrity is not here. Sally Highland? Sally, did we lose you? Hi, Sally. Okay. Um, yay or nay on the motion? Yes. Okay. Um, Alderman Jetty? Yes. Uh, Ed Leishas? Yes. Uh, Jennifer McCormick is not here. And Brian Rhodes? Yeah. All right. Motion passes. Okay. Moving on to the purchase request. Um, Mr. Chairman, it's yes, Ed. I make I make a motion that we approve the request to purchase a new TriCaster system and an amount not to exceed twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Okay. Any discussion of the motion? Seeing none, we'll move on to the vote. Uh, Andrew Sonoda votes in favor. Uh, Dorothy Clark is not here. Uh, Bruce Cutting known? Yes. Uh, no representative from the school department. Brian Garrity is not here. Sally Highland. Yes. Uh, Alderman Jetty. Yes. Ed Leishas. Yes. Uh, Jennifer McCormick is not on the call. Uh, Brian Rhodes. Yes. All right. Motion passes. All right. Is there, is there a final motion? To adjourn? Anyone? Move to adjourn. No, before you adjourn, could I just make a comment to Ed Leishas? Uh, it's going to be not, it's going to be sad not seeing you at meetings. However, it's going to be enjoyable to see you in the studio doing your Lions Roar TV show. So <laughs> let's talk. No okay. excuses. No excuses now. Well, very good. Thanks, Dick. I just wanted to thank Ed as well from the uh, education channel side. It's been a pleasure working with you for all these last uh, 10, almost 10 and a half years, I guess, for me. So appreciate everything you've done. And I just want to thank everyone for the vote for the TriCaster. Looks like that may be needed more than ever. Uh, it got word a couple of days ago that they're planning to do both city graduations on August 1st simultaneously, one from Holman and one from Stelos. That's at least the plan at this point. So uh, that extra equipment will come in handy. Thank you. And I second all that. I, I still plan on doing eye on education if Stacy wants me, Pete. So. Okay, thank you. I, I thought that might be the case. So I, I haven't spoken with her yet, but I'm sure uh, we'll uh, look at that. Thanks again. Thank you. Uh, just there was a uh, question about whether we needed to uh, to actually have a motion to accept Ed's resignation, uh, and I think as a technical point, since Ed is serving as a uh, um, liaison, basically a, a um, the chief's uh, representative, right? The chief's representative. Uh, the the chief is still technically the the member, and and even though uh, Ed is the his standing representative. I, I think it, it's up to the chief and not us to to accept that resignation. So 
Uh, we're sorry to see you uh, go, Ed, and we'd love to, to somehow um, keep you on longer, but um, I don't think that's the mechanism. No, not a problem, and uh, he is aware of it, and uh, they will be having discussions on a replacement. Excellent, thank you. All right, that said, do we have a final motion? I will move we adjourn for one final time. All right. <laughs> Um, no discussion of, of that motion. All those in favor? Uh, actually, again, do we have to do the, the roll call, I suppose? Yes, um, yes, you do. Okay, Andrew Sonoda is in favor. Uh, no, uh, Dorothy Clark is not here. Uh, Bruce Cardigno? Yes. Rick, uh, no one from the school department. Uh, Brian Garrity is not here. Sally Highland? Yes. Yes. Uh, Alderman Jetty? Yes. Ed Leishas? Yes. Uh, Jennifer McCormick is not here. Uh, Brian Rhodes. Yeah. All right. Motion passes. All those. Uh, we'll see you uh, that are coming back. We'll see you next uh, next time we have a meeting, and uh, we wish Ed well. Good luck, Thank Ed. you. Be safe. Have All a right. great day. Thank you so Thank much you. Everybody, for the time this morning. Yeah. You're All welcome. Right. Bye -bye. Thank you.